I just write FBI. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another put uh welcome back to yet another put uh Help me welcome. I had to practice this guys. Help me welcome Onye Gabriela Ogute. Ogute. Okay, so my first guest for today is one. Is one. So please help me invite the very first, um, what is it? Um, what is it? Who posts all the things on media, that's her. <laughs> please help me welcome Drisil Akembo. Akembo? Akemba? Please help me welcome Drisil Akemba. <laughs> I can't believe I can Yes, I am currently studying law. Today, I'll be discussing a very important and a very dear topic to my heart. We are going to be talking about women empowerment. We live in a society that pushes us to compete against each other instead of supporting one another. My guests for tonight are the, these three beautiful ladies, um, the founder and CEO and the president of My Sister's Keeper. My Sister's Keeper is an organization which is a woman empowerment uh, a platform for women to come together and have a voice. They lead by the model of believe, love and learn. They aim to educate, support, motivate, uplift women in their community. And as women, we do need the support. Please help me my first guest. Um, she is going to be talking. She's one of the panelists at the My Sisters Keeper um, organization launch. Uh, Faces by Iwaku. Please help me welcome Faces by Iwaku. Hi. Hey girl, how are you doing? I'm welcome so to Let's Talk of My Family. Please take a seat. Thank you very much. So the second one is one of the members on the organization. She is the media ambassador who posts all the things on media. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> Please help me welcome Trisil Akamba. Hey girl, Hi. how are you doing? Are you? Welcome to Let's Talk Goals with Sammy. Please take a seat. Thank you. So our last guest um, is the CEO, the president and the founder of My Sister's Keeper, Ohinye Gabriela Ogude. Hey girl, Hi. how are you doing? Thank Welcome you. to Let's Talk Goals with Sammy. Please yeah. take a seat. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hey ladies, welcome to Let's Talk Goals with Sammy. How are you guys doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you guys look so beautiful. <laughs> so um, I want to start with you. Yeah. You are the whole artist behind People's Beauty. Yes, Do I you want to tell me about <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell me about your um, business? Yeah, so basically I started it two years ago in mm -hmm. April and um, I was just I was just kind of doing makeup like I only started a few years ago and then my friends were just like you should do it for other people so I was like okay and then I <laughs> I'm gonna start doing makeup for other people so <laughs> inbox me, DM me <laughs> so I just started building up my portfolio just working on different faces and then I think in that summer I started working with um, Hair by Addy. Okay. And we She's just good. Yeah, we yeah. just started Shut up, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just started collabing. So she would do hair and I would do the makeup. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then from there we've just been working and um, right now we're gonna do another devs deal as mm -hmm. well. So it's gonna be really good. And basically I just 
my focus is just to make sure everyone is really happy yeah whenever they leave my chair or when they're in my chair you get what i mean mm. um yeah i just love it i just love makeup i just love the whole beauty the whole glamour i just love everything about it so, yeah. talking about making people happy you are the meteor right <laughs> officer for my sister's keeper yeah. how is that um posting stuff and not knowing whether it's the right content to post or is it too much well i feel like any reaction is a good reaction <laughs> <laughs> it's so, true. So, yeah. um, as long as we're putting out content and we're having a conversation i think that's all that matters yeah yeah, yeah. so who runs the um the instagram well, me and this other girl called Wendy, she couldn't I feel like I've been catfished. <laughs> <laughs> Who was I communicating with? You okay, were communicating yeah. with me. <laughs> so me I, feel, I feel like I've been catfished. <laughs> <laughs> so me, uh, Gabriella and the girl Wendy, yeah, we usually run the thing, yeah. Yeah. So how many are you guys? Um, at the moment there is about, wait, let me have this in my head. Yeah. There's about <laughs> nine of us. I ten, 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 ten. Okay, ten. <laughs> I'm joining. I'm joining. <laughs> There's um, ten of us now. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's, it's quite a lot of people. Um, how did you come up with the concept Ooh, of um, my, my sister's, sister's keeper. keeper? Oh God, it was. It started two years ago as well, which yeah. is very random. But I never like put my effort into mm. it or said I'm gonna do it. I just pushed it to the side yeah. and then. I think I was out of introduction for my work <laughs> and it just came to me like it's God I believe it's God said mm -hmm. anyways and the idea of having girls ladies women mm -hmm. coming together and doing something for ourselves yeah. because we're so like first of all we're women that's a huge which you know that's, 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 already, that's already a that's thing within itself yeah. that like we're women <laughs> and we're already we're sex, we're being put aside in so many things. Like we talk about the pay, when we look at the pay um, issue that's going on where females are getting paid less than men. Yeah. If we look at the issues of women are being like sold all across the world for like sex things. And it's, I've, I've it's always, very- I've always said this, like, I feel like a woman's body is now being taken as yeah. a sex image. Exactly. Instead of becoming a woman. Back in the days it was, you see a woman, you see a mother. Exactly. You see a woman, yeah. you see a wife. Yeah. And now it's just it's all about sex, yeah. you know? And the whole idea was that I feel like we need to be our sister's keeper. Mm -hmm. You know? Like my friends, I basically they inspired me if you wanna yeah. call it that. Like they've always been there for me and we've it's vice versa, yeah. you know? And some people don't have that. Mm -hmm. I've seen that a lot, that people don't know how to jump from friend to friend and they mm -hmm. don't have that stable, yeah. solid foundation of okay, this is my friend, mm -hmm. you know? Like if anybody goes anywhere and they ask me who are my friends, they already know. Yeah. Sure. And you know, like it's hard for peeps some people to actually say that, okay, who is actually my friend? Mm -hmm. Who is here for me or for what I'm gonna give to them, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like this is the place for, it's for that friendship, for that support system, that mm -hmm. education that we lack sometimes. Like young girls don't know when they're being sexually harassed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's very, yeah. it's very Cat important, you know, to moment. get them yeah. aware of those little things. Like even if it's just a touch, mm -hmm. a little touch can like go a long oh, way. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And the guy yeah, like, oh, and yes. they just grab like, you my size. And you know? on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, Africa, that happened yeah. to us in England. I think they're walking on the street. My size. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. who are you talking to? You yeah. know, it's so yeah. it's so sad to see these mm. things happen, and no one is there to say, "Listen, this is what's happening in the real world." Mm. Yeah. Like we don't learn that in school. No one teaches you. Sometimes even at home, mm. it's hard to get that connection between mother and daughter that your mom is there to yeah. actually guide you. Yeah. So. It's basically, it's that foundation, mm -hmm. it's that friendship, it's that connection, it's the network as well. Yeah. Like you said, networking is so important. Like, yeah. And like also having place, people that you can talk to mm -hmm. and go to and be like, okay, I want to go into journalism. How mm -hmm. will I, how can I help you to help me? Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I like, think that's the biggest problem we have in yeah. society that we don't help each other. We don't mm -hmm. build each other instead. Definitely. We compete against each other. Yeah. Like, okay, because you're doing makeup, so that means I shouldn't start my own makeup. Mm -hmm. like, 
yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Instead, they want to start it to compete. Yeah. Instead of yeah. empowering and coming to you, how do I do this? How exactly. does this work? And I really you know? appreciate people who really come and be like, how did you do it? Yeah. How did you get Because it helps so much. Because we're bouncing off each other. Yeah. 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 And I wish more people would go into makeup mm. too in Ireland. Because I feel like it's so small. Mm -hmm. And if you go to places like England, mm. you have so many options. Yeah. And even yeah. me, I want someone to do my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> I know someone who knows somebody. Yeah. yeah. Like they have connections mm -hmm. everywhere if you mm -hmm. ask them. Like they don't even need to go to college <laughs> yeah. to so get far. I say that, like, like my lecturer, um, because I'm studying civil law and society in DCU. Oh, yeah. And my lecturer for um he, for public international law, he was like, I'm white, male, Irish, and I'm a qualified barrister, but wow. I don't have a job. So what are your chances? Like he shares like guys, I was woke. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm black, I'm female in a foreign country, yeah. uh, studying law, you know what are yeah. the chances? So it's, it's something like that, yeah. like they help each other, they exactly. empower each other, they do. and what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, just, we're just here floating. <laughs> we're floating, <laughs> we're floating. <laughs> we're in limbo, yeah. literally. It's, yeah. Not, it's not a good thing, an image for us especially, because as women especially, we're also fragile, yeah. as they would call it, and we're also seen as the other people yeah and then if you add your color on top of it whether you're asian you're black or you're like, light skin, dark skin. Light skin dark. you know so much we're so com like put against each other it's like a, a battlefield mm. or a boxing ring where we're just we're yeah. put into fist fight Literally, basically yeah, and it's not right it's mm. really not and i'm really hoping to take that away from us as a society yeah. and as a community and take us away from that and try and bring some sort of unity mm -hmm. and like peaceful communication. Yeah. Peaceful, <laughs> peaceful, yeah. peaceful, yeah. peaceful communication. Yeah, yeah. yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because um, like when when she came in, I was like, oh girl, I want to start my organization. <laughs> and here you are. It's very empowering to know that someone else sees that there's yeah. a gap in society mm -hmm. that needs yeah. to be covered. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you have the same idea, it it shows that literally we're all thinking about closing about, the gap. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's not about competition. Yeah, it's about helping each other, yeah. building each other. Because first of all, we're not in our own country. Yeah, you know? definitely. So, why should we come to the foreign country to you compete know, against yeah. each other? Yeah, makes no you know? sense. Yeah, because like they're all looking at us and laughing. Yeah, exactly. literally. <laughs> like look at them. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, so talking about your organization lunch. Yeah. Um, you live by live, love, and learn. Yeah. How did you come about that? Um, it isn't. I don't know where that even came from to be honest. <laughs> but I. The live comes the media, from, you know, know media. I was ready. I was ready. The live part comes from living your life for you. Okay. Yeah. That you do what you want to do, mm -hmm. not what your parents want you to do, or not what the so world wants you to yeah, do. Yeah. It's what you actually want to do. The love part is for loving ourselves mm -hmm. and learning to love ourselves because I feel like it's so important as humans to actually love yourself. Yeah. You don't love yourself like you, you can't love anybody person. else. Yeah. You know and to love one another as well like god teaches us to you know when you love your neighbor you love as much as you love yourself yeah. he will love you the same way mm -hmm. so love is kind of like that kind of way where i love her she loves me and if once you love each other you'll do anything for that person. guys i'm doing like chilling <laughs> my heart right you now you know as, as you speak yes, girl, yes. <laughs> and then the third part is to educate one another which yeah. i feel is so important like yeah. It do, you don't have to go to school to educate someone, you know? Exactly. And like I learn from her, mm -hmm. she learns from me, you mm -hmm. know, it's vice versa. And mm -hmm. that little bit that you learn, you can take it on and word of mouth travels, you know? Mm -hmm. So you go teach that to someone else and they're like, oh, where did you learn that from? Oh, I learned that from this person. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, a, it's like a balance in society mm -hmm. where everybody is grafting off of each other. You need to ask yourself, you know when you apply for uni, yeah. it's like, are you an, um, an, is it ad adult? Student oh, mature student. Mature yeah, student yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you've been through life. Yeah, so, yeah, you're sure yeah. Sure yeah. Yeah. so that's how life is. Yeah, that's how life is. Yeah. You need to you need to learn yeah. from each other, you know. The best knowledge is not what you learn from books, yeah. but what you learn from the person next to you. Yeah. 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 
Oh my days. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, very strong, um, I'm very strong minded about women empowerment because yeah. if we don't empower each other, this is what pushes. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm an only child. Wow. Oh, wow. So, exactly. So, <laughs> this is like very dear to me. Yeah. It's like, the next person is your sister. Yeah. Why are you fighting? Mm -hmm. And you know, the next. <clears throat> The next point I'm about to touch. <laughs> the thing, the main thing that makes us fight is boys. Like, oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Like, who are you? Like, <laughs> but I feel like you get to a stage, you, you, you just you just know that you're not fighting. Maturity. Fighting. Yeah, that's yeah. maturity. maturity. You get to a stage where you're just like... <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, take him. Because he's like, please, you're like, 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 <laughs> not the one after me. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll even pick you. <laughs> You know, but um, how is that a challenge? You know, with with the movement that you're trying to move, um, um, helping young girls see that you know men are men are men are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Energy, uh, energy, 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 energy. Energy. Give it, give it, give it. I acknowledge and appreciate that Victor is a man. Men will not take you where you need to be. You yeah. need to take yourself. Mm -hmm. That hundred you know? percent. And the, I feel like it's a challenge in society. It so is. how are you going to? How do you guys feel you're going to accomplish I that within the This business? is where um, the age gap that we're hoping to get is so important. Okay. Like we need females that are, let's say, your age, mm -hmm. my age, and also the, the you know also the <laughs> older women as well yes. to try and. Get the young ones to understanding that listen, mm -hmm. men will come and go. Yeah. You need to so focus on you right now. Like you are you your have main you, priority. You have you forever. These men will exactly. come and go. Exactly. Like, like, I issue. think that's where we want to hopefully build on that and mm -hmm. start like mentorship as well. Yeah. And get the olders to like mentor the young ones and be like, I'm, I will help you along the way, but you also have to help yourself. Exactly. These men would do stuff to they you. Like, you, you don't well. you don't need that stress yet. So <laughs> just someone's watching. You know, like, <laughs> I see what's happening in society, exactly. and it's like, sad. If I had someone like a mentor when I was younger to mm -hmm. teach me about exactly. things, I would ask myself, I like, what if boys like me? Like, what if boys like me? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, it, it does not matter. I was always a tomboy. Like, I grew up as yeah. a tomboy. Yeah. I didn't care. My hair could be looking weird. Like, why are you brushing my hair? Yeah. What, what am I looking good for? Yeah. And then it was until uh, my matric, which is living so in South Africa, yeah. that I was like, oh, I'm actually a girl. I need to buy a dress <laughs> <laughs> for my dad. Yeah. I need to look good. Yeah. But I, it never faced me. Yeah. But then there are young girls out there that, that their, a, their aim is, I must get a man now. <laughs> you know, I need a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I need to look good for this guy or mm -hmm. something like that. And we all go through that phase. I think it's yeah. a phase of not everybody, but some people actually do go through that phase. There's a point where you're like, okay, boys, I'm not mm -hmm. me. I need to, you know, yeah. make myself look <laughs> nice, yeah. not crazy or yeah. whatever. But there's also a fine line where you have to be like, okay, yes, boys are going to notice me, but what do I have to offer? Exactly. Like, what am I giving? Like, it's the whole thing on social media that's going on what a woman to offer in yeah. marriage and Literally. like the, the society is built on women. When we don't have value anymore. Yeah. You know, which is sad because I spot my bright price. You know? <laughs> it's skyrocketing. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, we live in a society where females are taught to become wives, mm. right? So the mentality in some women are to get a husband. Yeah. Mm. yeah? What's your thoughts on relationships? Because I feel like relationship a relationship is not a goal. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, not a goal. Not, it's okay, you're self educated sister, you know like you know, education and what what what's your thought on that? Well, I feel that like before finding a man, before anything, like literally concentrate on yourself first because mm -hmm. you have yourself forever. I always say that, like literally, you will have yourself until you die. Like literally, mm -hmm. that's all you have. So literally, try and complete yourself. Travel, go to school, Travel, just yeah. become the best person you can. And like, a man will come eventually. Yeah. Like literally, it's not bad. Build your bride price. <laughs> yeah, build it to the highest level. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I think about it. Like, what's your goal? See how you said build your bride price? Yeah. I know I kinda of have a problem with that. <laughs> she like, wants a goal. She <laughs> wants a goal. I feel like you you one of those girls that are like I I don't I'm not gonna be sold. It's not about that. I know, but the whole thing around it, like you're it's basically
basically saying I'm achieving all these things mm -hmm. in so order for my brand has to be bid, it, bid at a high price to make me seem valuable. Mm -hmm. but I see it as we shouldn't even place any of our value on men or mm -hmm. anybody. Do you get what I mean? This is a problem that stands in front of us because now they belittle us. They see us as a sex object. Yeah. You know, instead of valuing us, you know, mm -hmm. back back in the days, well, this is um, I'm talking about in my culture. Yeah. Yeah. If you got a woman pregnant, you have to pay damage. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have mm -hmm. that as well? Yeah. 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 Why are they paying damage? Because yeah. You're damaging the goods. <laughs> you know, it's there's value in this woman, mm -hmm. and you you played with her, you damaged her before mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yeah. So it's about adding value to yourself. True. Yeah. I understand. I get I get it from that point of view, mm -hmm. but I still think it's a bit... <laughs> yeah, I think mean, some, some of the fathers get yeah. excited and happy, yeah. like, we want a car and yeah. a cow and you know, you know, I still think it's a car, car. <laughs> But to go on the point of like relationships and all, I feel like relationships are beautiful things, mm -hmm. like at the end of the day you have relationships with everyone you yeah. yeah. You have relationships with your parents, yeah. your friends, everyone you come across that you generally talk to mm -hmm. all the time. So I just feel like don't look for a relationship, yeah. just mm -hmm. do Let your own thing, you. just live your life and you Literally, if I don't get married, I don't get married. <laughs> just take a look for a <laughs> Just live your life, do your own thing, and someone, someone that is literally worth it mm -hmm. on Humphrey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes maybe you have to go for them. Exactly. I wouldn't, but someone. I <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> I would be sitting here. <laughs> when you're looking for me, you have to let me see. Who finds a wife, not she who goes after her. Exactly. Even the Bible says. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um. What's your thought on women that? It's very sensitive, but um, blesses, sugar daddies. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you guys. I wrote a short story for the Metro FM um book competition, writing competition. Yeah. Um, and I I titled it Dear Uncle Blesses. So okay. it's a letter from young girls to, to the blesses for them to know the pain that they yeah. actually bring in these young girls. Wow. Okay. Okay. okay yes. So it's not like older girls. It's younger girls. It's uh, who gets a sugar daddy? It's younger, younger girls. Girls our age. Girls oh, our age. age. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought you were. Wait. Yeah. How old are you? Oh, I'm twenty. Twenty. I'm twenty. Bye, guys. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, good. <laughs> Where was I expecting? She's building a whole organization. <laughs> It's, it's basically oh, yeah. young girls our age because yeah. we are young ladies, mm, yeah. you know, and that's the age where we materialistic things mm. matter the most. We want to look good, smell yeah. good, yeah. but we ain't got no job. I swear. Our parents are fighting from shift to shift to make sure that we get an education, mm -hmm. and these material things are just material, you yeah. know. So, what's your thought on that? I feel like it has to do with upbringing. Yeah. Like, the kind of upbringing I have is. You're content with what you have, yes. mm. and anything you want. I think it's every afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and like anything outside of that box, you yeah. go get it yourself. Mm. And that doesn't mean to go and look for going again a guy <laughs> to like yeah. get those things from you. I feel like when you want something and you really work for it and you do it yourself, mm -hmm. when you get it, you value it so much more than where. If a girl, if that <laughs> shit that you are doing, it, I, so <laughs> <laughs> I could never. <laughs> No, no. Like morality is yeah. I mean, since I was a kid, my dad always told me who I was. Remember who you are, yeah. everywhere yeah. you go. So I'm even too scared when they try and come and talk to me. Like, oh, cool, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hello, sir. How's ma? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no, so why do you go to The thing is, right, sometimes um, it's not only. I, I fully believe in upbringing as well, it's a very um, important detail. But sometimes upbringing also cannot only be the only thing, exactly. the only factor, you yeah. know? And there's some people, unfortunately, society has mm -hmm. a huge part in it. Exactly. Yeah. Social media. Our social media is that, oh, once you find a nice man to take care of you, you know, you're sorted. Mm -hmm. And there's also like, unfortunately, there's some women, like older women in the older um, generation, who have gone through all those things and mm -hmm. they've done all those things. So mm -hmm. they make it look mm -hmm. glamorous. Yeah. And they make it look that's nice. That's and like it's a luxurious, you know? Mm -hmm. And it attracts the eye. You know, the eye can be deceiving, mm -hmm. which is the funny thing. Yeah. And sometimes our eyes mislead us to believe certain things. They don't you don't know what they're doing to yeah. get what they're getting, but yeah. all you see is the pretty pictures the and you know. Like look at that girl. 
girl that did the YouTube or was it Instagram? Sorry, that the pretty girl. Yeah, she had, had, yeah. and oh, yeah. all of a sudden oh, yeah. we saw her on um, GoFundMe, go GoFundMe, looking for you know visa. And we were all like, ah, you have all these you nice things, visa and visa you couldn't visa. sort it out. You know, it's not only sometimes upbringing; it's also the people you surround yourself yeah. with. Like yeah. if you surround yourself with people that are in line with your moralities, your values, and the way you see life and everything, yeah. you'll be grand. Yeah. But if you surround yourself with people that are you know dancing to make their mm. way up, you know, mm. you'll join in. I'm so sorry, but mm. friends have a huge influence yeah. Yeah. on your behavior and your characteristics. Sometimes we gotta look at the friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> so I thank God every day for the friends that <laughs> gave me. Like, Pray for your friends. Honestly, a hundred percent. You do. You lean me to. Yeah. yeah. It's so sad because um, in the southern side of Africa, that's where the word blesser comes. Um, oh, and they've yeah. made it popular. They made it seem okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a blesser. You see when I said, girl, bless me, mm. I thought you, you understood the concept oh, okay. of a blesser. Yeah. It's, it's made famous or cool to have so a have blessing. Wow. You, know? yeah, yeah. you know, to have an older man who's paying for your dinner. It's good wow. to eat out, but you eat your girls, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's just sad, you know. Wow. Yeah, and um, what about young pregnancy? Oh. Um, These are the things that you need to think about with I your know. It, No, no, you have thought about it. I'm approaching. Yeah, definitely. Like I've thought of the concept of domestic violence, mm. rape, and all those things, and I've really like sat down to do my research. Like mm. I have read, mm. and almost as they may know, yeah, like yeah. I have literally you call sat down phone? to read. Mm. Like, I'm like, I'm so like, so much. Much. <laughs> so I want you to look at the camera and be like, Samantha's one of the funniest. <laughs> Samantha, <laughs> one of the funniest members of the funniest members of my little gamer. Like I literally read up on so much, and when you look at teen pregnancy, mm. it also, like she said again. Your environment and your upbringing take it's a not, lot of. I, I feel like it's not really not for upbringing. teen pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah. For teen yeah. pregnancy, sometimes, well, personally, I feel like it is because if you look at it, it's kind of like your. It sometimes it happens accidentally, mm. you know, and some people don't plan it. It's just sometimes you're yeah, in love, was, you know. I was like, yeah, I, love. I might have had a good upbringing. Yeah, the first time. Exactly. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? yeah. It's not okay, but some, really because to a certain level, we do what our parents tell us tell not us to do. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it, your parents are fighting you every day. Don't do this. But, but if you look at it from like a background point of view, it's mm -hmm. kind of like your where you come from, and also yeah, if your parents, yeah, yeah. yeah, do you get what I mean? Like if your parents aren't paying attention to you, mm -hmm. like for example, not all the time, but if sometimes that's. The main cause at times mm -hmm. is that if you're not paying attention, being paid attention to at home, you'll find attention anywhere else okay. that is given to you. Do you get what I mean? And the first person that gives it to you and says, "I love you, don't worry, we can do this without you." We don't need, home. you know. Mm -hmm. And also, education comes into play as well. Mm -hmm. That when you lack education in so in that kind of aspect, mm -hmm. if your parents don't teach you about sex education, if you don't learn it from school. Where else are you gonna get from? The first person that you know, the first person that tells you, no, no, I think it was on sugar. It was on sugar. And yeah, that she was like, you know, if you're standing up and you have sex, you won't get pregnant. And I was just sitting down like, how? Where did you come from? Which, which books are you? She goes, if you put alcohol down there, and wash it away. Exactly. Like, you know, little things like that. Have that talk with their kids. You like, know, you and it's very, you especially it's very, um, it's very detrimental onto the child yeah. because you don't know where it's going to lead them if you don't sit down and have like that talk. Like poor little Francis, from yeah. Sugar. What happened? You know, like oh things my God. like that. That's, that's, that's your whole point. That's what I was trying to you say. Know? Where um, you know, the whole idea of man can do this. Mm, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, oh, you want a good sign? My man is. <laughs> my man is here. You know. Things like that, and I understand that people say it's not always your upbringing. You can have a great upbringing, but yeah. are they like attentive to you? Are they educating you? Are they like telling you, okay, listen, we may not listen at that moment, but there will come a time, I'm telling you, when that situation is in front of you, something in the back of your head will be talking to you. Yeah, and it can be your mother's voice, it can be your father's voice, and if you try that to you, <laughs> you <laughs> you, know, I, I swear there's sometimes I feel like I'm hearing my mom from the distance, <laughs> she's calling me, and I'm like, I have to go home. Like, you know? And unfortunately, we do have 
that instinct. Yeah. We really do. And it just takes courage to actually listen. So I know there's unfortunately some situations where you're forced. And those yeah. are the sad situations where it's like, okay, mm. this is this not is your serious. fault. This yeah. is actually not your fault. Yeah. You know? But when it comes to you made that decision and you chose it, it's now, okay, how are we going to deal with it? You know, that's, I feel like that's... Do you know how me, the media um, sometimes tells us that it's the woman's fault that she got raped? Um, like the whole, Why was um, she wearing the skirt? Exactly, oh the whole um, case with the rapid yeah. players and stuff like that. Oh, wow. yeah, really um, the girl consented to one guy, apparently, yeah. and then they all came they in. All came in. And then the, it was considered not to be a rape, just because mm. she consented to one guy. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Like, society say that what we wear or how we behave mm. is what gets us into those predicaments. Mm -hmm. But if I'm having fun with my girls and I feel like going for a swim, should I not feel ashamed of wearing mm. a bikini? What, what else should I wear to go swimming? Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, like, yeah. you know, and kept calling, like, for the likes of you, you're wearing shorts because it's yeah. warm outside. Yeah, exactly. But you're not doing it to show up exactly. to any man. Yeah. You know, F fashion is a statement. Mm. You know, it's your own personality. Mm -hmm. So what's your thought on society blaming the victim to be the person behind the whole yeah. thing well on my take on it i believe that in this like everything is always going to be looked at as your fault mm -hmm. yeah when it comes to rape mm -hmm. the whole the country is against you yeah like true. the it's society true. is against you mm -hmm. why were you there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why were you wearing this mm -hmm. what did you say that made him do this Mm -hmm. do, do you understand? In every, in every situation, whether domestic violence, yeah, whether like every situation where you are being hurt, what did you do? Mm -hmm. Why were you there? Why that's you that's there? the deepest mm -hmm. one. What were you looking for? It's it's a thing where we have to educate everyone, and yes, like ignorance is mm -hmm. the yes. worst thing that mm -hmm. can happen yeah. to anybody. Mm -hmm. It's a disease. Ignorance mm -hmm. is a disease. It's Point blank. Disease. It's so funny because. Um, one of my mentors always says, little knowledge is poisonous. It's poisonous. Yes. It is. It's really oh bad. God. It's yeah. horrible. So we, I just feel like, in for now, we just have to take precaution. It's sad mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. some guys that we in this world and society mm -hmm. do not know when to just be like, leave girls alone. Mm -hmm. They don't know when don't to step back. Even, even, even if you think mm -hmm. about it, society cheers them on. Oh, she doesn't want you, but keep going. Yeah. She just well, playing she hard. Yeah. Yeah. She just yeah. playing hard. Yeah. 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 Or she says no, she actually she wants it. Do you know what I mean? Right. I feel like sometimes as well, we as women are at fault yeah. when it comes to the issues of those kind of things. Because you have some of the, the women that are uh, just just leave it. Don't worry. Just cover it up. You know, that kind of the idea the shh, the hush. Clients, you know? Know? And and unfortunately, it is so wrong. Because of shame. Because, because uh, yeah. you know, that kind of idea of just don't worry. I'll come. Just leave it. Mm. Don't say anything. It is so wrong because oh. mentally you have messed just up that person. Just somewhere, girl. You know, <laughs> like mentally you've hurt that person, you've messed up that person that they feel that I have to now hide my whole self mm, no because course. of this. Mm. And that is putting the blame on the person. Mm. You've mm. mentally put the blame on that person. Yeah. Even as a society, when that whole case was happening, people were like, oh, do you believe how? Do you believe? Why are we doing hashtags yeah. on who to oh, believe on one on situation? Do you get that? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. 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 This is somebody's like life that we're talking about and we're debating if we believe him or her. Who are you to, exactly. you know, but then, believe? Yeah, uh, can I cut you off? Yeah, no, it's fine. But do we, can we also look at when girls lie mm. about not really? Mm -hmm. do, do you get what I mean? As much as men are... I promise myself I'll never say that word on camera. That's why I help myself. Yeah. As much as we say yes, they're this, they're that, yeah. whatever. Can we also look at the malicious side? Of yeah. It? When women use rape as revenge. Mm -hmm. When women use it to get back at people. Yeah. When they use it to make it out like just as, you know, like you get what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. That's so, the whole reason. And then yeah, it worse for the people who have actually <laughs> gone through because then they'll feel like I'm I'm lying, you yeah. know. So I think it's really a big. It's, it's just terrible. It's horrible. You know. Yeah, you you mentioned some something there where um the well, the whole shish thing. Yeah. And yeah. like society telling you that it's your fault. Mm. It's, it's not her fault. It's not the the rapist's fault. Yeah. And there's the whole. The whole stigma in the African culture, that's what you mentioned there, that um, we can't even open up mm. 
to so many families exactly with so many things yeah. yeah. that we can't mm. bring up because it's so touchy that oh no no can know about that so what, what would they like think mm. what would they, do you, do you <laughs> what are they <laughs> <laughs> what are they <laughs> literally we have to deal with these things hands on and like yeah. it's so sad i think it builds up like that's why so many adults like suffer from trauma from their childhood mm-hmm. and like yeah. no like they don't have discussions about these things. Yeah. It's so sad. Do you think that that's the reason why most young girls don't go to their parents? Yeah. Because of the whole African stigma yeah. and the whole African content of shh, don't, mm-hmm. you, can't, you can't say this. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it, it happens in marriages a, a lot. Yeah. Yes. You know, so when you're young, shock. in young ma- mm-hmm. uh, woman who's married, and you go to your parents and be like, oh, he's beating me up. Oh like, yeah, just take that's, it. That's yeah. marriage. That's marriage. Mm. Yeah. That's what you signed up for. <laughs> that's what someone said. Like, that's what I heard someone say before. Like I'm like, yeah. is that all crazy? Like, <laughs> you're so all crazy. crazy. <laughs> you're all so crazy. Yeah. I don't know. They always like, say because oh, you guys don't understand. You're young. You guys were brought to mm. Europe. You don't know anything and that. Mm. Well, I might work. I don't. I do not deserve to get beat up if I'm marrying you. What yeah. the hell? That's like, why you should play brat <laughs> 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 I think it also started from a young age, you know, and when you're growing up and uncles are coming to the house, do you ever notice if you're wearing shorts, oh my God, they they just they change. be like, you know, it's like, tell the uncle to Yeah, but the thing is, tell the uncle to close his eyes. Why don't you know, want that way? way? You know, yeah. those little, little, like those little things go such, such a long way, mm-hmm. like in a child's life, because the minute you see a man, okay, even in this, church, you know, life, can't wear anything too tight. No, the, 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 I think that's different. Okay, no, 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 actually, no. I don't even want to touch on that. Yeah, let's not okay. care. If you want us to to wear long skirts in church, outside, are just men not seeing naked women? Yeah. I, we we're surrounded yeah. by the nakedness in the world. Mm-hmm. But modesty in church, modesty in important. church is important. Yeah. I think that's the the fine line. I don't see why they're not saying that. Wear, like, they're not saying short skirts. Yeah, to wear short skirts. No, no, The moment you walk, you're like devil out. <laughs> no, I really, I really feel like this is why I kind of started this whole thing because mm-hmm. I'm close to my mom mm-hmm. and I'm able to go to her like for anything and talk to her. And I've noticed I there was a stage where I was talking to a young girl and she's she's only able to tell her mom half the mm-hmm. things she's done, like and it's it's hurting her as much as the mom might not know or maybe yeah. she doesn't feel any way about it, but. She couldn't ask her mom about, okay, what do I do during my period or stuff like that. Like, you know, those the little, little things, things. Yeah. they go such a long way. Like, it's so heart- heartbreaking, mm-hmm. unfortunately, that some mothers, African mothers especially, would rather turn their back on their daughters, mm-hmm. you know, and ignore the little signs. You, you can't notice when your child is upset. You don't know if she's been through something she's or what really. she's going through if she's really sad even if it's through school mm-hmm. or like boys in general like i want to be able to go to my mom and be like mom i really like this boy you know like he's so like even if it's just a conversation she doesn't have to tell me no don't go near boys mm-hmm. they will whip you they will get you pregnant you know yeah. i want to i want to sit down like the yeah. way i'm talking to you and be like oh my god mom there's this boy he's so like fine and this and this and this and just banter with you, yeah. you know? I feel like MSK should be a safe haven for girls it that don't is, have that yeah. relationship for their mothers, mm, yeah. especially. Basically. Like, literally, come to us. <laughs> literally, we're <laughs> open. Like, are you guys are open kind of like a, um, an older sister? Yeah, that's basically yeah. what we're aiming for, is to like partner up the young ones with an older sister and basically, I will carry you with me. Okay. Like, my sister's keeper. My sister's keeper. Yeah. You are my sister, mm-hmm. literally. And I'm going to be your best friend through the education, through the boys, through the, the bees and the birds, mm-hmm. as they call it. Yeah. Through every career, everything. 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 My future, like, what do I want? Yeah. Like, what, where are you trying to be? Like, in the next 10 years, or even if it's tomorrow, mm-hmm. where are you trying to be? What, what, what do, do you want to do yeah. that will make you happy? That's literally what we're trying to do like help you get the there. reason why we have members like faces by Yoaku is that anyone who's like interested in makeup or stuff <laughs> can, like, <laughs> can like come and be like okay i really want to go into it but i don't really know how to start <laughs> and we'll be like okay we have a member that that's her field mm-hmm. you can go yeah. to her and talk to her and she will guide you in the way listen we're trying to make you better than us it's <laughs> not like it's not yeah. in the same way we're trying to make you better than us <laughs> I want to leave, but come. I want to leave the 
place and be like, do you know what? You can take over. Mm, yeah. This is for you. You can continue it yourself. Yeah. And I know it, you'll be fine. Do you yeah. get what I mean? So talking about that, um, do you guys have terms in the positions or is it still just a flat line? Like do you mean do you have a constitution? No, no, not yet. Not yet. That's still in the making. Mm -hmm. okay. so, yeah. So would, would that mean that. that you will have terms like, for instance, um, I worked with the African Student Association of Ireland, ASAI, mm -hmm. and we have terms. Mm -hmm. So if you hear about ASAI and you like the movement, you yeah. like what's happening, um, after two years, mm -hmm. someone's term expires, okay, and then you yeah. take the position. Oh. So oh. if someone feels like, okay, um, I feel like I can do so much more yeah. on the media mm -hmm. um after your term i would like to take over yeah do you guys have something um, like that or anything yeah we're still in the building that because we we're just focusing on the launch right now mm -hmm. because next week <laughs> so that's our main focus but after that once we've gained members and people have started to you know join in we're gonna like sit down and be like okay guys what's the plan yeah. for the next two years yeah. like what is within ourselves like what what is the plan Who's well i am a law student <laughs> yes you're welcome <laughs> Yeah, so we want more people to like, you know, get involved and, you know, try and start building and growing within mm -hmm. one another. And then we'll have meet, like ambassadors for each section. Like mm -hmm. even if it's law, we'll have a law section mm -hmm. where people who are interested, yeah. you know, Absolutely. they can go into it. Like fashion, magazine, like we're working with Slide Motive as well. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Slide Motive. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to bring them up. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> like, we're trying to get them, we have them as well, so the people who are interested in that kind of media aspect yeah. to go into magazines as well, they can network, you know, talk to them and be like, I want to be part, you know, and open doors for people in a very, like, calm way. Calm but way. for, it's mainly aimed at women. Our aim is women. Sorry. Men are not pushed away. You can come to the event. Yeah. You can come to the event. Yeah. 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 Men can come and support the women, okay. but it's... Our, it's for women. Okay. Our, our brand is for, for women. By women. For the women and by the women. <laughs> Which is so exciting. Yeah. Um, so you guys did a competition. Yes. This is Meteor. I saw you <laughs> posting all the media about the competition. Who won? It was actually really me that one. Yeah. 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 Which is cool because you're still you're empowering people to yeah, to yeah. get out there and to keep pushing. Do the next competition, make me win. Don't worry, we have a competition coming yeah. on yeah. the yeah. day. So okay, on the day, we'll surprise you. Win. <laughs> this yeah. is inspiring, guys. Um, I just want to touch on the last points yeah. there. Mental health mm -hmm. um, is the biggest problem, and especially in African cultures, it's mm -hmm. a taboo mm -hmm. to, to be depressed. Mm -hmm. You're bewitched, you're not depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's right a right witchcraft. Right. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts and how are you going to bring that aspect into your organization? I'm a huge mental health awareness mm -hmm. um, person. Um, girl. Girl, sorry. Mm -hmm. Female. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like we need to, you know, I'm a blood like, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very, <laughs> very, very passionate about mental health because it's something that I feel everyone goes through yeah. mm -hmm. at some point in their life, even if it's for a short period of time. And we joke about it too much, you know, and it's, it's, not, it's, it's not taken seriously. Hello, like, press. You know, Hello. and sometimes it's even used for, unfortunately, <laughs> glamour. in, for glamorization and for public um, announcements. I'm depressed. Yeah. You know, and well, oh my God. It, shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that because there are people who are really, really going through it. Yeah. And sometimes it's you're not even aware that you're going through it sometimes, yeah. you know, until it's over. Mm. And then you're like, ah, I really, I was, that was I really was a, yeah. a deep point in my life that I really need to fix up. But I'm very, very, um, I hold that to my heart. Mm. Like, it's very, it's something I really, really want to work on with MSK and try mm. and get girls. I feel like girls enter into, it's not... I'd say girls, boys enter into depression more than girls, unfortunately, but to say, but it's about. not spoken about, you know? Yeah. And depression leads to suicide, it leads to like, there are people with bipolar disorder and they don't know, yeah. you know? Little things like that, and yeah. people aren't aware. So hopefully in the near future, I really want to get like a workshop where people, everybody comes in and we actually discuss these things and just talk, I you know? Have, like, I plan on that. Too. Really? So we can work, we can work together. together. We're on it. <laughs> We're on it. Yeah, yeah. So that's really my take on it. Like I don't want I don't know how to speak on it because it's it's really like it's very deep, it's very deep yeah. to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and it's very um I'm very passionate about it so it's I want people to be able to open up mm -hmm. about it so we can do something about it you yeah. know because if you don't speak on it I won't know how exactly. to help you or even yeah. let's work on it together even if it's just sometimes people just want someone to talk to mm -hmm. that's the sad reality you know yeah, yeah. someone that don't I don't need your answer I just want to release my burden onto yeah. somebody and I feel like a lot of girls are really really going through that mm -hmm. especially with the aspect of boys yeah. and the whole like everything to do with that it comes from somewhere mm -hmm. you know something comes from somewhere unfortunately yeah. and once you get to the root of the problem that's when we can be like okay let's try this let's yeah. try this whatever because everyone's method is different you know mm -hmm. what may work for me may not work for you may not work for you yeah. you know so it's very it's very versatile and very diverse when it comes to yeah. mental health so yeah Okay, so my yeah, sister's keeper. Does it focus more on the African aspects of life, or is it diverse? It's diverse. Okay. We're trying to make it diverse. Yes. We're attracting the Africans. <laughs> We're trying to make it diverse. diverse. So yeah. no matter where you're from, no matter your background, either you're a woman, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. As long as you're female, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Guys, don't try and wear dresses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I uh, just want to hear. What do you study? Well, right now I'm trying to get back into college to okay. study um, multimedia and journalism. Okay. Yeah. And yourself? I used to study culinary arts, so I just finished this year. What is that? Culinary arts, like to practice to be a chef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a foodie, so I'm, I'm calling you friend. I want to go to your house. <laughs> and what are you studying? Um, I'm studying social care at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are you guys enjoying what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the main point why we are here, your goals. Yeah. So what are your goals? Well, my life goal <laughs> is to actually be like a radio uh, personality. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> link with me after, link with me. Yes. Yeah. I'm a blur, guys. Yeah, I'm a blur. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah, and yourself? Guys, just want money. <laughs> want to be like you know boss lady yeah i just have this vision i just know i'm going to be somebody yeah like, whether, it's like growing in the yeah. 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 Whether, it's, <laughs> whether it's like food beauty i just know those are the two things okay so you cook as well yeah okay so i, was, I like just oh, yeah, well you're all, well you're all studying chefery i mean yeah. <laughs> chefery <laughs> My sister's keeper is going to be doing events. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I do decoration, so how really? do you do And you decoration. You'll be cooking. Hey, mom! <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be cooking too, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what are your goals? Oh, you'll be surprised. It's a book. Yeah. <laughs> um, my goals are basically to be a doctor, actually. Really? Oh, my I really want to study medicine, hopefully, yeah. after this course. And to also build up my sister's yeah. keeper. And yeah. You know, keep supporting women and everything. Mm. So yeah, that's which is yeah. touching. You guys are so inspiring. Like, <laughs> oh, keep you. pushing, keep moving. Don't let anyone bring you down because yeah. the next person, people have something to say. Yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. don't take in everything that you hear. Mm -hmm. Always trust your own instincts. Yeah, and pray, pray for yeah. the pray because yeah. that's, that's, the that's the only way you can yeah. like, succeed in whatever you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's so exciting. Um, I feel like just <laughs> sitting here and just having conversations. <laughs> you know, and talking about your goals the whole day because you guys are so inspiring. Um, yeah. Talking about uh, inspiring, inspirational goals. I am wearing a skirt by this creative field. I'm going to put her um, details below. You guys should it's a hookup. You guys yeah, should get yeah. yourself some African prints. Definitely, she does African prints. Um, so get yourself some. Um, if you want to do your makeup, go to your girl. Thank you. <laughs> Um, if you want to get radio or whatever, that's your girl. <laughs> if you want to be involved in My Sister's Keeper. And I hope you guys have a ticket for this Saturday. Yeah, because yeah. your girl Sammy is going to be on the panel. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. Well yeah. done to you, girl. You. Keep pushing. And I want to look at you three years from now and be like, Man. 
that's my girl. You know, yes. you have to watch this video yeah. three years from now. Yes. And be like, this is where I was, and this is where I am now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Don't you Thank know? Don't you. let anything stop you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank, Thank, Thank you for having us. You guys. Are, oh, you guys. Just look the Muppet face. I wish you guys could do like an audio recording. <laughs> This is my sister's you should, you should do that! <laughs> podcast! My sister's keep up Oh my god, that is so cool! So yeah! That would be 150 yeah. like you. No problem! <laughs> so innovative! I love it! I love it! I love it. Okay, money you! Money. <laughs> Thank you so much guys! So, no this is a society where women are coming together and saying we want change. There's a gap in society for women to empower each other and these young ladies want to close that gap. Thank you so much for coming guys. Thank you. It's Thank you been much. amazing. Guys, a like, share, comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, yes. subscribe. Yes. Yes. Make sure you subscribe. Yes. Um, subscribe. And press the notification button and look out for more videos to come. <laughs> oh, Thank subscribe. you so much for coming. Tell them how to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, this Thank is you. your girl Sammy on Let's Talk with Sammy on Lacey TV. Bye bye. bye.